Namaste yogis. Hello, hello. Welcome to Yoga with Pedro. Thank you so much for joining me here on our first yoga practice. I've wanted to bring this to you for so long and I am forever grateful that you've tuned in uh, to this video for our first practice together. So we're going to do a basic midday stretch, um, taking some time to ground, to reconnect, to realign. So let's hop right to it. So grab your mat, have a nice comfortable seat, and we'll find ourselves started in Sukhasana. So just easy pose, All right, taking some time to find a long spine, maybe settling in, closing your eyes. Let's start to find our breath. Let's take a little inhale through your nose. As you exhale, just sigh it out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, just sigh it out. Do it one more time, inhale. Sigh it out. Take a moment to set a little intention for your practice today. So if you're new or unfamiliar with intention setting, maybe it's something so simple as I am, or I am grounded, I am present, I am strong. Whatever it is that you may be working on or working, striving towards, set that intention right here. Notice your spine nice and long. Let's just keep the breathing in and out through the nose the best that you can the rest of the time that we're here practicing. We'll use that ujjayi breath, right? That throat choke constricted breathing, just warming us up a little bit. Nice, let's just start hands on knees and just nice and easy circles. You know, nice and easy with some circles, moving the energy around, checking out the hips, the lower back the upper back, the neck. Let's take a pause, circle it the other way, take your time. Nice, so notice if this has any pain in your knees, like you can always find an alternate position to sit in. You can take some blocks or towels, shove them underneath your legs here. You know, it's up to you. Just make it comfortable for you. Always safety first in all the practices. Do what feels right for your body. Nice, let's come back to a nice long spine. Hands on your knees, a little cat-cow flow. Just take an inhale, arch your back, look up. As you exhale, we'll tuck our chin to the chest, round your back, navel to spine. Nice, inhaling dog, look up, sternum lifts, belly drop. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your back. Nice, do that three more times. Exhale. And feel good about it. Moving your spine around, moving the energy around, connecting with yourself, connecting with all the yogis around the world, practicing yoga through a lens. Nice. Let's come back to a nice neutral spine. Take an inhale. Bring your left arm up to the sky. A little side bend over to the right. Nice, feel that nice side body opening as your inhale, feel expansion through your ribs. As you exhale, soft and let it hug in. Take an inhale, come back through center, just switch to the other side, take your time. Nice, a right arm coming up and over, reaching to the side. Nice, slowing down, breathing deep, making the connection, taking the time. Take one more breath. Next inhale, we'll come back through center. Both arms up to the sky. Nice, take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers back behind you, draw the knuckles down towards the, towards the floor and just kind of feel this yourself opening through your shoulders, your pecs, your chest, allowing the weight of the world to really just roll off your shoulders in this moment. Feel what it's like to be stress-free, to be tuned in, tapped in, turned on to 
your yoga practice. Beautiful job. Allow your next inhale to bring the arms back up to the sky. As you exhale, we'll float the left hand to the right knee and the right hand back behind you. A nice inhale will do length and spine. Exhale, twisting back, looking over your shoulder. Inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, little twist. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Nice, inhale, both arms back up to the sky, facing forward. Exhale, twist the opposite way. Right hand to left knee, left hand back behind you. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, twisting back. Do one more time, inhale. Exhale, twist. Nice job, inhale, both arms up to the sky. Nice, as you exhale, we'll fold forward and we'll roll over the knees. Let's come into a nice tabletop position. So take your time coming into a table. Nice, so as you find a table, let's do hands right underneath your shoulders, right, your hips right over the knees. And take a moment to find dancing lions. So just making some circles here on your mat. So circling out, releasing the tension through the hips. Anything that you have that is stuck energy from your morning, from your day, from your sleep. Anything you need to let go of, just do it right here. Nice. Take a pause. Circle it the other way. Take your time. So in these classes that we practice here, you're never in a rush. Okay, it's one of the things I always preach is that we're not in a rush. If you need an extra breath or moment in any pose, just take it. You can always catch back up. You know, this practice is designed for you to connect with yourself and do what your body needs, what your mind needs. Make the connection with yourself. Nice job. Tuck your toes on. Let's find downward facing dog. So as you find downward facing dog, you start to paddle into your legs, bending into one heel and the other. So opening your hips and your hamstrings and the calf muscles. Nice. Relaxing the neck, letting the head hang heavy. Maybe shaking the head a little. Yes. A little side to side, playful with it, right? Like you're pressing the front of your mat away with your hands, walking it out. Let's take a nice inhale high to your toes, chest towards your thighs, straight legs. As you exhale, we'll go heels down. Let's do that twice more. Inhale high to toes, chest to thighs. Exhale down. One more, inhale. Exhale. Nice work. Gently take your knees back down. Slither on through. We're going to slither on through to our bellies for a few cobra poses. All right, so find your hands underneath your shoulders, right? Feet together, elbows in close to your body. Take a nice inhale and just kind of look up. A little backward bend for your lower spine. Elbows in close to the body. Draw the elbows towards the hips. Nice. Nice, so in this moment, notice the tops of the feet into the floor. Nice, the hip bones pressing down, lifting through your chest. Take another breath as you exhale lower down. So I like to warm up with a few backward bends. So let's do another one. Take a nice inhale. We'll do another cobra. If you like to lift the hands this time, it's an option. Really utilizing your back strength. Lifting up, gazing up a little bit. Take one more breath. Exhale down. Nice. I love Sphinx. Let's do a nice Sphinx. So take your time. Taking your elbows under shoulders. Nice. Letting the hips melt into the floor, tops of the feet down. And just kind of feel as if you're pulling your chest through. And allow yourself the opportunity just to breathe. A little bit deeper of a backward bend. Remember, just in and out through your nose by way of your throat. Strong ujjayi breath. Take one more. Nice job. Let's press it back through a tabletop. We're going to go child's pose. 
So knees spreading wide. Forehead coming down towards the mat. Let's activate the child's pose. So walking your fingers just a little bit more forward, allowing yourself to lift through the forearms, lifting maybe through the wrists, maybe coming onto your finger pads like so, lifting the palms. Get a massive stretch through my upper back and shoulders that runs down through my biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, wrists, palms. Let the hips melt to the heels, breathe. Nice, next inhale, we'll come back to a tabletop position. Nice job. Nice, and I want you to do some dancing line again, right? So just kind of like we started, right? But this time, maybe check it out a little bit different. I mean, it's a subtle difference, but just kind of notice, right? We're tapping into a little bit of awareness as we move the energy around, did a few backward bends, walked out the dog, kind of where you're at for your day. Just a little self-reflection, self-check-in for a moment. Pause, circle back the other way. Nice, get some crunchies going on in my back, some releasing going on, some opening, feeling good. All right. I want you to take, take your hands, do a little wrist stretch, right? This is for all the texters, the iPhone-itis, maybe the keyboard-itis. So take your hands, and let's do fingers towards you, Palms down. All right, so just in a little tabletop position, just allowing this wonderful stretch to the wrists. Should feel really nice. Nice. All right, let's let that go. Give it a little shake. Yeah, shake it out. And let's do back of the hands down, fingers towards you, palms facing up. Right, so option one is right here. Option two is maybe making fists with your hands. Maybe option three is settling your hips towards your heels. All right, if any of the options are too much, remember just back off. If anything ever takes you to non-breath, definitely back off. Take your time. Patience. Take another breath. Let it go. So give it a little shake. Transition onto the butt, nice and easy, right? Nice. So you find yourself on your butt. Nice. Make, make the legs nice and active for Paschimottanasana, right? So just take a nice inhale, arms up. As you exhale, we're going to go forward and grab what's available for you, right? So if you can grab index and middle finger on your big toes, totally cool. Maybe if the outsides of the feet, awesome. If your legs are bent. No problem. If you like the strap, you can flip the strap or a belt, shirt, whatever around. You can pull it in that way. All right, so me, for me in this moment, it's just to grab the big toes, and I'm just right here today, right? Leading with my chest and my chin, pulling and stretching. Toes to my nose. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath. Next inhale, let's go back up. It's a reverse table or plank, hands back behind you, fingers forward. So plank like so. I'm gonna do table for me personally. Let's take a nice inhale, lift the hips. It's a nice little release to the back. Feels good, do the pecs and shoulders. Let your neck go. And then gently lower it down. Nice work. Let's do right leg straight. Left leg bent, Janu Susrasana. Right, so head to knee with stretching. Take a nice inhale, bring your arms up. Take it to the right, round down, <clears throat> grab your foot. So rounded back is totally fine. Chin to chest, forehead to knee contact. Heel forward, toes in. Elbows drawing to the calf muscles and breathing. If you had the strap, you could always do the strap option. Flipping it around, pulling and leading with your chest. Again, your preference. Let your left knee relax down towards the floor. Inhale and exhale. Let 
Next inhale, let's go back up. Switch up the legs, take your time. Nice inhale, arms are up. Exhale, we're going down. Nice. So I'm a little bit tighter on my left hamstring, right? So it's no big deal. I'm just breathing a little deeper into this side. Same intention on both sides to heal, to strengthen, to lengthen, to open up. Let's take one more breath. Let your inhale guide you up. Nice. Let's gently come onto our back. So we're going to use our core strength to roll onto the back. Right, so arms are extended forward, and tuck your chin to your chest, and nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna lower down onto the back. So take your time. Notice when you hit the speed bump, right, the core muscles shaking a little bit, it's all good. Maybe you take a pause there, maybe you're embracing. You know, what is it that you can embrace in this moment, a little discomfort, as we're working to create that change in our physical body? Maybe you can hear the trembling that's rumbling in my stomach in this moment through the mic, I'm not sure but it sure is happening. I can feel the shaking, embracing the shift. Slowly lowering all the way down. If you're already there, it's totally cool. If you're still working on it, take your time. And then we'll all give ourselves a nice hug in of the knees, drawing the knees to the chest. Nice job. Take a little spinal twist, extending your left leg straight. Shift your hips over to the right an inch or two. Use your left hand to draw the right knee down to the surface. Let your right arm go out to the side. You can look back over your right shoulder if that feels good for you. If the neck feels better at neutral, stay there. Just work to keep that alignment, right? Of the heel of your left foot with the crown of your head. Taking your time. Nice and slow, we'll come back through center, giving both legs a hug in over the knees. Take your time. And we'll switch the sides. So right leg going straight. Nice. Use your right hand, taking left knee down to the surface and left arm out to the left. Again, doing what feels good for your neck. Nice job. Nice and easy. Let's come back through center. Nice. Give it another hug in. Nice. Taking your legs straight and taking your arms over your head. Just take a nice big inhale and stretch from your fingers to your toes. Let the exhale go out your mouth. Just kind of a... Let's do that again. Just a nice inhale stretch. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Let it out. Final Savasana. Gently just letting your arms rest by your side, palms facing up. Letting everything in this moment just go. Giving yourself permission for the next few moments to do absolutely nothing but just to be. Noticing if you're having any tension in your body, you just let that go. You allow yourself the opportunity to absorb all the benefits from your practice.